what's up you guys Marty Schwartz here of Marty Music thanks for uh, clicking on this video I've got some pretty cool Texas blues style uh, lick solo concept for you uh, hopefully it sounded familiar in that intro we'll zoom in and break it down and it's great to practice over a jam track so I also released a jam track at the same time so you can practice this uh, there'll be a link for it at the end of the video uh, but yeah let's get into it and uh, get bluesy here we go all right, so this is a lick from the minor pentatonic scale. I'm picking the G minor pentatonic scale, but this lick's gonna work in any key you plug it in. Here's what it sounds like. One more time. Now I'll do it slow and then I'll break it down. So we start, it's right from this minor pentatonic extended scale in the key of G. So we end up right here with our ring finger on the eighth fret of the high E, middle finger behind it, index finger behind that, and we're going to do a whole step bend. What I tend to do is lay with my palm muting the strings, you know, I get this attack sound. And it just takes a lot of practice, but just something that adds some real character to that first bend. So we bend that up a whole step. And then what we're gonna do is with our middle finger, that will be planted right here on the seventh fret. We're gonna bend that up to that tone. So that's a good way to practice getting that bend in the right pitch, is to hear the note and then see if you can see if you can match the tone. So whole step here and then a half step here. So. Then I'm gonna release it, and you don't hear it come back down. I'm releasing it right here to the sixth of the high E. So I'm doing a down pick on the six, and then an up pick on the root, which is a G note, which is right here on the eighth fret of the B string. It's got this little box going on. So then I go back to the 6th fret of the high E, and I'm just giving it a little kind of quarter tone nudge. So you put that all together. And then here's a fast move that uh, I've been watching footage of uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan do, and it's like this. So what's going on is he's using a, a, a way that I don't normally transition into the position below. He's doing a quick pull off from the eight to the six on the B, and then sliding it down to the third, and now you're in the home row, you know, first box position. So that's how I would practice it, starting with the high E. And that's also a really cool way to just transition from this box shape to this box shape. It's just the way that I don't normally do it, so I've like I've enjoyed adding it into my thing. And 
obviously a million variations I recommend. Uh, so here's the last thing we're going to do. We're going to do a fifth fret on the G string bend. And then we're going to, while we're holding that bend, I'm going to pick individually the B string on the third, high E string on the third. And that re releases, and it's getting, the G string's getting muted by the tip of my index finger. See that? I'm not even trying, but it, that's how you hear when that pulls off. You don't hear it anymore. So I'm doing G bend on the fifth, third B, third high E, then I hop back over to the fifth of the G. I bend it up and then release with a nice vibrato on the third of the G. Put that all together. Notice that I was varying my last uh, notes there. So you got that, but then I noticed when I put it together, I went. So that's a little bonus for you. You could go G string fifth fret, let it relax natural, then release it to the third, and then the other way was. Put it together with the whole thing. Last time slow, and then I recommend you start practicing it with the jam track. There was a little lesson for you. Uh, see if you can use that into your, you know, arsenal of, of licks that you've got. Also, real quick, when I'm done talking here, you'll see a link for a jam track. It came out today. You can practice all this stuff over it. Anything else you got to. Thanks for uh, spreading the word, too, on my channel right here, Marty Music. Really appreciate you guys. Thanks so much. And can't wait to see you again real soon. See you later.